I'm Amanda Goldman Petrie, and in today's training, I want to show you the framework that you can use to build trust in your Facebook ads while driving traffic to your funnel or to your offer. And the reason why this is so important is because most Facebook ads are put in front of a cold audience, cold leads. And that means that they don't necessarily know, like, and trust you yet. Now the problem with that is that if you go and you start promoting directly to that cold audience and get them to go into that funnel and ask them for your name and email address or ask them for their phone number or ask them to buy without building that foundation of trust, they might not be ready to go ahead and take that action. And so that'll actually decrease the conversion on your ads and your funnels and make you think, oh, you know, Facebook ads don't work. When they do, you just have to work them the right way. When you use this framework and you build trust while sending that traffic, what's gonna happen is your prospects begin to know, like, and trust you and you prime them so that by the time that they see your offer, by the time that you ask for their name and email address or you ask for their phone number or you ask them to buy, they actually feel ready. So the way that this model is going to work is with this framework, I'm gonna show you a variety of different angles that you can run with your ads that are not directly or overtly promotional. When you do, and what I mean by that is when you see Facebook ads where it's just saying, hey, this is my free gift, here's the name of it, go click here and register, that's very overtly promotional. You know it's a salesy, uh, you, know, you, know it's a, you know it's a promotion, you know it's an ad, you know it's something that they've paid to put into your newsfeed. And that type of ad is usually gonna work best with a warmer audience who already knows, like, and trusts you, so they're ready to be sold to, right? But for a cold audience, they need that warming up. They need to build that know, like, and trust. And so with them, what you wanna do is you wanna do the educate, then ask model, meaning you want to actually teach in the process of your ads, some kind of like what I'm doing here, right? I'm gonna teach first and then I'm gonna say, okay, now that you have this initial uh, information and, and I've shown you the groundwork, here's the next step, right? It's gonna be natural for you to move on to the next step because I've already established myself as an expert, as an authority in this topic and we've built that foundation of trust. So now you can move on to, you know, that funnel or that offer or whatever. That's what you want to do. You want to start by educating. You want to start by teaching. You want to start by gifting your knowledge and your expertise to set that foundation of trust. Then you can ask them to do whatever it is that your desired action is for them to do in that ad. So it's not overtly promotional. Now, what do you educate them on? What do you teach them? What do you uh, share with them and educate them on in order to prime them for that ask. Well, that's where the factors framework comes into play. So the factors framework is basically your guide for coming up with Facebook ad angles that you can use to come up with uh, ideas for what to teach to position yourself as an authority in your ads. So each, each letter in this acronym stands for a different type of angle. So let's start with F, F. F stands for framework. So what you can do is you can run an ad angle where in the post text or in a video or both, you teach a framework that is the foundation for your signature system, your process, your method, your strategy. Let's say you're a publicist. What is the framework that you follow to get media for your clients? Let's say you're a copywriter. Do you have a framework that you follow for your sales pages that you write? Let's say you are a health and fitness coach. Is there a framework that you follow to help people lose weight? Teach that framework. Actually, this is an example of that. Factors is a framework. I am teaching a framework right now that you can follow in order to come up with different ad angles that build trust. So that's F. 
F is framework. What is your framework that you can teach, you can educate your prospects on in the ad and then segue it into your offer? So let's say, for example, you're a health and fitness coach. You might have a, uh, your, fr your framework for how you help people lose weight. Let's say it's nutrition, uh, weightlifting, cardio and rest. Let's say that's your framework. Those are the four steps. You would have a video that explains how those things all work together, why all of those steps are important. You would it, you would incorporate that into your post text, into the actual copy of your ad, and then you would say, "Okay, so now you know that you need all four of these steps in order to lose weight and be success, be successful in uh, maintaining a healthy lifestyle." So what do you do from here? Well, uh, the, these four steps are not easy to uh, get, into, get in place overnight. They require you know, consistently working on installing new habits in your life. You're not gonna go from eating unhealthy to eating healthy like that overnight. You're not gonna go from not working out to working out five times a week overnight like that. It's not gonna work like that. You need help over time and it helps to uh, be have someone that will hold you accountable to it. And then you, 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 and then you're gonna introduce the offer. So then at that point you say, okay, here's, some, here's a resource that will help you with that, boom. And then you introduce the link either to your free gift or to your paid offer or to your scheduling calendar, right? So you're gonna start by teaching that framework and then segue it into your funnel or your offer. So that is F, that's the first type of ad angle that you can run that's gonna build trust first, lay that foundation, and then get them primed and ready to go through your funnel. All right, A, so A is as seen on. And this is how you can build authority by proximity. Authority by proving that other other media, other platforms already see you as an authority. Here, here's the deal, guys. Most people, they're gonna believe what someone else of authority tells them. So if you see uh, a, let's say you see a health and fitness coach featured on the cover of a health magazine that's really well known, um, like Men's Health or something like that, one of those magazines, well, chances are you're gonna believe that that is a very reputable health coach. When I see health and fitness coaches in the media working with celebrities, then all of a sudden I'm like, oh wow, they must be really good at what they do because they have that authority by being in proximity to other people who already have authority. It's essentially like you're borrowing the other platform's authority. When I was featured on Fast Company, Forbes, um, the Huffington Post, Influensive Magazine, all of a sudden I was actually able to massively increase my uh, prices and convert at a higher percentage just because people all of a sudden now were perceiving me as more of an authority just because I was featured in outlets that they already saw as an authority. So what you can do in your ad, you can do a couple different things, right? You can either just have ad images that are pulled from those magazines. So in your ad image, maybe you were featured on the cover of a magazine. Take a picture of it or take a picture of yourself with the magazine and use that as your ad image and then have your, your ad copy be about um, you know the, the excitement that you, you felt when you found out that you were featured on this um, platform, but where you really, you know, where you really are fulfilled and what your passion is really about is X, Y, Z. It's about helping this prospect solve this problem. So again, you start with um, establishing that authority and then you segue it into that offer or that funnel. Another thing that you can do is you can actually run an ad to that, uh, to that outlet, to that media, using a plugin and um, the plugin that you use is snip.ly what you can do is you can actually put your own opt-in your own offer over top of that article so let's say you're featured on forbes or you're featured on um uh, the huffington post you can actually send an ad to that article 
and then have an opt-in on that page, you're essentially now taking that Huff Post article and making it your own landing page and have that lead into the and have that lead into your funnel or your offer. And then finally, you can take a, a screenshot of your uh, of your feature of the place where you of the, the the media platform where you were placed, have that be the ad image, and then use the post text to summarize what you taught. Like let's say you did a podcast interview on a really well-known podcast. Use the picture of that episode in the ad image and then in the post text summarize what the podcast episode was about and then segue it into your offer. So what I, it, it, like I said, there's a variety of different ways that you can do it, but the idea here behind A is that you are showing authority by being in proximity to other media outlets and people who already have that authority. C. C is comparison. So what you can do is you can teach th by using a this versus that scenario. So typically in any industry, in any niche, you're going to have prospects who are comparing options. And this could mean they're comparing um, your product versus another product, your strategy versus another strategy, um, the, thing, the problem that you focus on solving versus the problem that someone else focuses on solving. So for example, let's say you're a health and fitness coach. Your prospect could be, uh, could be asking themselves, what's more important, um, losing weight or, uh, or getting a lower BMI or um, BMI or body fat percentage. You could run an ad that compares those two metrics and educates them on the right way to kind of look at it and then segue that into your health and fitness offer or funnel. Um, again, let's say you're a health and fitness coach. Maybe they're comparing, uh, should they go to a gym and work out at an actual gym or should they build a home gym? And you can kind of, you can do an ad angle that weighs those pros and cons, that talks about that comparison, educate them, help them make that decision, and then segue it into your funnel or your offer. Maybe they're wondering, should I have an in-person physical trainer? Should I have someone who's virtual? Do an ad angle, a video or post text um, that talks about that comparison, educate them, help them make that decision, and then segue it into your funnel or your offer. So that is C, that's comparison. Hopefully you can see here how in doing it this way, you're going to be able to give them enough insight and information that they're going to see you as an authority. They're going to appreciate the value that you've given them up front, but they're still going to need more. And so your offer is going to be a, a natural next step. All right, T. T is tutorial. Now this is for those prospects who are a little bit more visual or who are a little bit more logical. Right. Um, for comparison, you can you can get both sort of like emotional and logical buyers there. But typically T for tutorial, you're looking at people who they like details. They like to know the details because that's the thing. Different prospects are going to care about different things. And so you're going to want to make sure that your ads are addressing the different types of prospects that you could encounter in the newsfeed. So what you want to do in the tutorial route is you want to identify what is one tiny problem that your prospects have and how can you solve it for them in the form of a tutorial that's almost like a demo of your product or your service. And that again is going to prime them for your offer or for your funnel. Let's say you are a sales coach and you are teaching your prospects how to get on the phone and then convert on the phone. Well, you could do a tutorial that actually shows them how to set up their scheduling calendar. Or you could do a tutorial that shows them how to set up the proper follow-up sequence for their sales calls, right? Teach them in the form of a nitty gritty detail um, oriented tutorial and then segue that into your funnel or your 
offer, right? So you've got to make sure that the tutorial is relevant. You've got to make sure that it's a relevant first step that's going to lay the foundation for what you're going to be offering to them next, right? Like if I'm a sales coach, me teaching you how to set up your sales calendar, that makes sense as a first step because once you have your sales calendar, you're going to need to know how to then drive traffic to the sales calendar and get sales calls, right? That's a tutorial that makes sense as, as laying a foundation for my next step and my next offer. So that is T. O. O is observations. And so what you want to do here is you want to identify some of the observations that you've made about your prospects and about your industry and about the problem that you solve. So if you are a health and fitness coach, actually Jillian Michaels is a really great example of this. She just had a, a bunch of publicity here recently um, in both directions, kind of like good and bad publicity because she made an observation. She said that there's a lot of body positive movements out there that are maybe not sending the right message because it's confusing people. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to tell people, hey, you should love your body and you should feel proud of yourself and you should love yourself no matter what. But the message you don't want to send is that it's okay to be unhealthy. If you really love your body, you're going to take care of it. You're going to nurture it. You're going to make sure that you're giving it everything that it needs to have the best chance at longevity and survival. And so she made that observation about the environment in the current industry and used that as a platform to then drive more interest and more visibility into her business. Now, she didn't run it as an ad angle. She definitely could have, and it definitely would have worked really well. So what are some of the things that you're seeing in the industry that kind of piss you off, that are pet peeves? What are some of the things that you're seeing your, your prospects are doing that are wrong, and how can you shift them into a different way of doing it? Or what are some of the observations that you're seeing that, that are, that's working Maybe new science that has come out that you want to help your prospects become aware of. So share some of those observations and then again, segue it into your funnel or your offer. That is O. R. R is reactions and reviews. And so this is similar to observations, but in particular, you are, you're choosing specific uh, industry events. You're choosing specific industry articles, um, industry studies, and you are reacting to them. So let's say, for example, an article comes out in Men's Health that says, uh, you know, nutrition is BS and you don't actually have to eat well in order to lose weight. You could then refer to that article and ha run an ad angle that reacts to it, that says, oh man, I just saw this in men's health. This is a travesty. I can't believe that they're saying this. Here's the right way to actually think about it and here's why, right? So you're taking something that's, you're taking current events specifically current events within your industry, and then you are reacting to them in order to establish yourself as the authority in the industry and segue it into your funnels and your offers. Now, last but not least is situational responses. And so the idea here is to identify what are some of the difficult situations that your ideal clients are gonna find themselves in and how can you preemptively uh, teach them, educate them on how to handle them. So for example, let's say as a health and fitness coach, one of, your, one of the situations that your prospects might find themselves in is uh, going on vacation. How do they maintain their nutritional and fitness lifestyle while still enjoying themselves? Or uh, when they're on the road and they're traveling, how do they maintain that nutritional and fitness lifestyle while 
traveling when they don't have as much access to the types of foods that they should be eating or the place that there the equipment that they would use to work out so you can run an ad angle that says hey when this situation arises here's what i recommend you do give them some tips and then again segue it into your funnel or your offer so you're going to proactively anticipate the situations your prospects are going to find themselves in where they could actually use some advice and they could use some help, give it to them in advance. Give them that advice, tell them how to handle that situation, and then segue it into your funnel or your offers. So that is the factors framework. F is frameworks. <laughs> A is as seen on or authority by proximity. C is comparisons. T is tutorials. O is observations. R, reactions and reviews, and S is situational responses. These are all different ad angles that you can run that are going to educate and then segue into an ask so that you can build a foundation of trust with your prospects in the newsfeed and prime them so that when you actually do make an ask, they feel ready for that next step. So there you go guys, hopefully this gives you a lot of creative ideas for different ad angles that you can run in your business. Now, if you have heard, if you heard this framework and you're thinking, oh man, this is such a smart way to run ads, but uh, I don't wanna have to write all of that or I don't wanna have to manage all of that because this can be quite a lot and it is, it's nuanced, it's time consuming. So while Facebook ads, they really, really work. I mean, they work when you work them, they are time intensive, they are very nuanced, and you do have to write a lot of copy and you have to test a lot of different angles. And that's not usually what you want to be doing with your day. Like if you're an ads manager by trade, great, that's probably what you wanna be spending your day with. But if you're watching this video, chances are you're not. Chances are you're a coach or a consultant who is helping to transform people's lives and you wanna find transformation seeking clients and you wanna use Facebook ads to make it happen, but you don't wanna be the person managing those ads. And so if that sounds like you, then I want to introduce you to our done for you traffic generation services where we actually manage your ads and your PR to send qualified traffic to your funnel, to your offers, to your services and products and find qualified buyers right here in the Facebook newsfeed. And we manage the entire process for you. We'll come up with all of the angles. We'll write all of the copy. We'll make all of the images. We'll set up all of the campaigns, do all of the split testing, the data tracking and the reporting, and we'll keep you in the loop the entire way through as well. So if that sounds like a dream come true to you and you wanna be able to send more traffic through to your offer so you can get in front of more people who you can really help, but you don't wanna be responsible for doing that, doing that yourself and you'd rather have a team supporting you to execute that for you, go ahead and click the link in this post, head on over to our page where we're gonna describe our done for you traffic generation services. And from that page, you can just click the button and schedule call and talk to us about what that looks like working together. There's no upfront fee in order to get on that call and there's no obligation to buy. So it'll just be a candid discussion We'll talk about first where you're at in your business. You know, what does your current business look like in terms of your funnels, your packages, your prices? What's working right now in terms of generating leads? And then we'll look at where does your business want to go? You know, what's your vision for the future of your business? Are you, are you really happy with your business model and you just want to scale it up and get more visibility, get more traffic, get more clients? Or is there something you'd like to shift? And what's your plan for that? So what we'll do in this call is we're actually gonna audit that strategy. We're gonna audit your current plan of action for getting you from where you are now to where you want to go. And we're gonna give you our professional feedback on that overall plan and outline a, a, a strategy that we recommend for you that we really believe in. Um, and if that plan ends up feeling like it's a fit for you, great. We can have a candid discussion about our services, our packages, our prices, answer any of your questions that you might have, and uh, we'll take it from there. So there you go, guys. Click the link in this post. Go and check out our Done For You Traffic Generation services and schedule that call. And I can't wait to talk to you guys really soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.